to a song. All right, done. <laughs> All right, so what the fuck are we going to talk about? Uh, Chris go. wanted to talk about... Should we do an intro? I don't know. That is the intro. That's the intro? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. But, uh, Chris, what, what do you want to talk about? You had a topic. Uh, yes, my topic was uh, DC's extremely pushy... Um, muse, uh, movie slate that they got going on that goes all the way to like 2020. 2020. Yeah, I did hear about that, yeah. Right. So, what it was, the, uh, the other day Warner Brothers had their big, like, press event to and investors and all that stuff. So they announced, like, 10 DC Comics movies, 4 Lego movies, and 3 Harry Potter spin off movies. Wait, they, they, they control Lego? They, well, they have, <clears throat> I mean, they have the movie rights to Lego. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't know that. So they're making another Lego movie and a Lego Batman movie. I heard about that. I heard about yeah. Lego Batman. Yeah. Which was probably going to be the best Batman movie <laughs> between ever, now and 2020. Did. Pretty much. I mean, yeah. Batman v Superman, The Reckoning, whatever it is. Dawn of Justice. Yeah, what, I don't know. Justice. Okay, so what what DC movies were announced? Do you have the list? I got the list right All here. Right. So oh. we got Batman vs Superman: Dawn of Justice. Right. Uh, Suicide Squad. Uh, Wonder Woman, starring Gal Gadot. Uh, Justice League Part One. Oh God. The Flash. Aquaman. Shazam, which is really Captain Marvel, but I think they're gonna try to change his name. I think they already did, they already did yeah. change his name in the, to in the comics. Right? Really? Yeah. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. It is stupid. It is foolish. Uh, Justice League Part Two, Cyborg, and then all the way in 2020 because they want nothing to do with Ryan Reynolds. There's another Green Lantern. <laughs> just just as, as far as possible. Just, just as far as possible. See, that doesn't even bother me because like when they remade the Hulk, like I thought the Incredible Hulk was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, it was like, yeah. Like you know. Way better than the first one, and that only Absolutely. came out like four years yeah. after. Just ignore that first the Hulk. shitty one and just you know right. forward. Yeah. I don't see why they can't do that. I guess, it, it, I guess the Green Lantern was so shitty that they can't. I thought it was weird, weird that like a Spider-Man movie came out so close to the ending of Sam. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that's a whole different argument. Yeah. Right, but I'm saying along those same <laughs> lines. That, that's not because the original Spider-Man trilogy was bad. It's just like, let's make more money and we only... Right. Like, Spider-Man is such a valuable property, they have to do something. Right, right. right. And you're seeing that with X-Men, but X-Men's, I guess, better suited to just, like, doing more to movies. To just doing more, because yeah. there's so much... But Spider-Man, it's like, yeah. there's only... A, there's a certain point where you can't make movies with the same, you know, actor, so you have yeah, to... of course. ...reboot it again and again. That's just, we're going to keep seeing that every couple... every couple movies reboot. Yeah. That's what it sounds like, uh... I mean, that Green Lantern movie will obviously be a reboot. No Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. That's he's, he's Deadpool now, right? That's, 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 uh, that's the rumor that yeah. he is going to be a terrible idea, but. Deadpool again. I don't know. He was okay in the X-Men Wolverine movie. Yeah, but doesn't it not make sense to cast a famous one-on actor as that a character with a mask? But who can only always has to wear a mask? That's well, look at uh, uh, Hugo Weaving in uh, V for Vendetta. Right. He also hates doing those types of movies. Yeah. He's like outwardly said he's been in what Lord of the Rings, Transformers, V for Vendetta, Captain America, and he's like I I don't like doing this anymore. Yeah. But you know, and, like like Ryan Reynolds, like he's not like like this like distinguished actor. He's like you know attractive, funny guy. Well, actor. that's the thing too. What you could say yeah. that about Bradley Cooper in Guardians of the Galaxy and. That was only his voice, and he's... That's true. I'm not saying that you yeah. can't do voice acting. I'm just saying, like, right. for such a big, <laughs> you know, for such a... Po he's a popular character, Deadpool. He is a popular character. And, like, to cast an act... Like, you know, Marvel, they cast a lot of, like, no-name actors. That's true. For a lot when, of, well, which they, is smart. They made them names. Yeah. Because they're in Marvel movies. Yeah, but right. they, they can lock them into cheap actor prices early on. That's the... You know, that's they, they learn their mistake from Robert Denny Jr., and they have to pay him, like, all their money. Well, so they're like, you know. He also has all the talent. Yeah, that's true. I, I'm not so, saying, you know, and he's a big draw, which is, yeah. which is a good a good thing for them. But then there's a lot of actors who are good actors. It's right. just, they, they're not really known for anything else prior to Marvel. So yeah. they can, they're made into stars, like you said, yeah. but then they're also cheaper than your Robert I don't know if I, if I agree with that statement. I think I agree with that for Thor and Loki. 
pretty much people in Thor, and then no one else. Like, maybe you could say Chris Evans, but he had, like, a couple of decent roles before yeah. that. Yeah. But, like, Scarlett Johansson was big. Uh, Jeremy Renner? Jeremy Renner and Scarlett Johansson were both, like, Academy Award nominated actors prior to being in, in Avengers. Marvel movies. Or yeah. in Marvel But then movies, again, yeah. with, with Scarlett Johansson, you know, like, Black Widow was just sort of like a side character in Iron Man, and right. then became a bigger character in the right. right. So that's right. evolution. They, they adapted to, you know, what they, you know, saw was popular. Okay. So. so who would you have play Green Lantern? Oh, that's tough. Is it assuming that it's Hal Jordan? Yeah, like, uh, they, I mean, they could totally not do Hal Jordan. They could not do Hal Jordan like just to John stay Stewart as far away from that fucking story. Guy Gardner, even. <laughs> uh, who would you have play? Either any character. I don't. I'm interested. I, I want. I don't. Play. I have no idea. Like, not Ryan Reynolds. I'd be. Not Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, that's that's my only stipulation. Um, yeah, like, see, that's the thing. Is like, I, I, I could try to make predictions about actors. For like movies, but then like, you know, <coughs> oftentimes I'm surprised by either how good or how bad an actor turned out to be. Um, right. Like, I know who are they talking about for? They're talking about Joaquin Phoenix for Doctor Strange. They, they've been talking about Joaquin Phoenix. They've been talking about Jared Leto. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Keanu too, I think. Oh God. Uh, I, can I make my answer Keanu Reeves as Green Lantern? <laughs> Nicholas Cage. <laughs> Nicholas Cage. <laughs> No, he should be Superman. That's, That's true. That, that was the role he wanted to play was Superman. That's true. Have Which, you seen any of the clips from like the unmade Superman movie? Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. I haven't seen any clips. I've just seen pictures of him with like long hair and a suit, like. Because <laughs> that was like Superman Return, or not Superman Return. It's like uh, like after Superman had died. What's that story called? Superman Apocalypse. Return. Of Superman. Return of, yes, is, is that, that it? Return? After. Yeah, Wait, after, death, he, after death he gets and Return of Superman. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah just, I forget what because like Superman Returns just Im immediately. Sorry, I was like, if you think of that movie, but, you know. Right. Like, the actual story of where Superman dies and comes back instead of, like, going on a vacation for five years? Yes. Or whatever, so... I mean, I, th I thought that would be a pretty ballsy movie, actually. And Nicolas Cage, for good or for bad, would make it interesting. <laughs> you know, that's... I think I would go based curiosity alone. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. As long as you get ass in the seats, that's all that matters for, like, movie making. That's true. You know, Asses finance. and seats. Yeah. Asses and Doesn't matter how shitty so, it is. That's a lot of... Well, casting for these DC movies has also been pretty weird. Because, you know, you have Henry Cavill as Superman. Who I think is good. Well, we, you can have the argument about disliking the movie, which we could go on forever because uh, I like it and uh, everyone hates it. I don't it. like it, yeah. Um, but I think he's fine and I think that movie's fine. Moving on. Uh, but you have <laughs> awesome him as Superman, the, the biggest superhero in history... You know, my man, <laughs> <laughs> and you have this no-name essentially actor playing him, and then you have Ben Affleck as Batman, who is a big-name actor. Very big. And then you have for the rest of the Justice League cast, you have like Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. She's relatively unknown unless you see the Fast and Furious movies. Unless you movies. know every Fast and Furious movie, which you should. And have. that's another conversation <laughs> because. Yeah. Do we think she's a good pick? Because she's quite attractive, but I think if you're Wonder Woman, you gotta be more than eighty pounds. I, I mean, <laughs> she needs. To I think some she's. Muscle. I think she's good. Uh, I mean, so far from what I've seen from Fast and Furious, which isn't a lot, but what I've heard about her as a person, she used to be in the Israeli military. Oh. So already there. It's pretty legit. I did not know that. Yeah, which is the co the common people who are like, oh, I think she's too skinny. Well, she already kicked multiple asses. In actual life. In real life. Well, actors Whoops. change their appearance all the time, especially when it comes to Right, like, and she muscular. has even said yeah. that no, she's that, bulking up for the role. That yeah. one sentence, I, I concede. I did not know that at all. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> fine, yeah. You know, pull back statement. Pull it back. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Redaction. Yeah. She was in the military, so she has some cred there. Yeah. As far as ass kicking goes. Okay. Yeah, sure. I I think it's like less of a concern about actors where it's like, is this actor good or bad for a role? It's more like, like are the movies themselves gonna be like, should they be made? Uh, you know, are they gonna put like any effort at all into making them good? Oh, 
I'm hoping they do. It seems to me, to me, like looking. I think DC looks at Marvel and it's like we have to do the same thing, and that's why they're rushing like Justice League into existence. That's why they're rushing Batman what? Superman combo movie because they're like, well, that's the new thing that everyone likes is superhero combo movies. Right, and it's, which is cool, which is true. Yeah, people do like that, and that's generally the the that what sells comics in the past. Yeah, and even now too, when when you see oh. This one has Daredevil in it. Like, why is he with Spider-Man right now? I want to find out. Yeah, what's going on? And you read that, and you just pick that up uh, out of impulse. And then they have, like, the big events and stuff, which is what they're trying to emulate with the movies, like the Avengers, you know, them teaming up. That's an event. Them fighting Ultron, that's another event. Yeah, big, People big event, too. And... I don't know. To me, it's it's it, it's it's like they want to do the same thing, which is which is totally fine because I love the idea of like combo movies, like having superheroes who who should be you know together, right? You know, are together in a movie. That's great. That's a, that's a that's a good thing that's happened in recent history. It's just like they're not putting any time and investment that Marvel did because Marvel spent years just making solo movies, building up to the combo. Right, right. Marvel they invested had, the time and the they and the invested effort. the time and money. Prior, like way before, they like the the idea behind the Marvel Studios movies, the Avengers movies, was that they're an independent studio. They, Which, of course, they, they were given funding yeah. and promotional, uh, you know, funding and distribution through Paramount, but they produced the movie independent from a major studio. Yeah. Which is. Like the first time, you know, a major, like big superhero movies were made that way. So they. And then Mickey Mouse bought it. And then Mickey Which is fine. Actually, if anything, that's a good thing because then they have Disney's. They have economic power. Seal of yeah. approval. Yeah. yeah it, it worked out very well for them. Yeah, it's not a bad thing. So that was the mindset they were going into movies like Iron Man and Incredible Hulk with. It's like we're an independent studio, so we're going to treat this like an independent movie. And then since they are all under one umbrella, they knew that they could eventually do, you know, your sort of right like, combo. There was no... They don't have to worry about legal there was no There was no parent company, really, for Marvel to disappoint if Iron Man and Incredible Hulk didn't do as well as they That's thought. Good, yeah. When you see, you know, Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman, the parent company, if that... If those movies aren't successful or as successful as they want them to be, the parent company can drop all that Justice League stuff yeah. with nothing. Because they have Lego, they have Harry Potter, they have Lord of the Rings. They're still, still next yeah, movies. Very, still very valuable properties besides the <laughs> DC stuff. Right. Which is, you know... And, but, and they're obviously willing to do it, especially with Green Lantern. I think, yeah. Especially them being able to say, oh, we're going to do Green Lantern again is a good sign of, you know, okay, we do want to make this good. We do want to make this better for fans. We recognize this was crap, you know. Yeah. It is. Totally. We messed up. Let's try it again. Trust us. <laughs> I'm See, very wary. I'm <laughs> looking wary, at, too. Looking at this slate, it's like, ah, oh, the first Justice League is coming out in 2017. So that's not, like, a big rush. But I think they said that, like, Wonder Woman and Aquaman would appear in Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. Right, and they said Cyborg would appear yeah, and all Cyborg. summer. So, but, so they put in the cart before the horse. It's like they're introducing all the heroes up front and then having their solo movies later. But we could... They're not... I mean, you know, we don't like... They could just be like doing that to like, uh, you know, wet our whistles or whatever. But right. like maybe like she's... I don't know, they're all in the end credit for like half a second. Yeah, I mean, if it's something, if it's just a teaser, like Marvel is famous for like doing teasers of what is the next thing that we're going to be doing, right? Which is fine, but if they're actually going to shoehorn them in to like rush the whole idea of like combo forward, well, uh, before they even have time. To I don't watch think, I don't think, uh, you know, Cyborg will be Cyborg in this movie. Yeah. I think this is very beginnings. Like Wonder Woman will be the, you know, Amazonian warrior that we know her to be. Yeah. But when it comes to Cyborg and who else? Who else were we talking about? Aquaman. Aquaman. Wonder Woman. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're that. going to be, you know, smaller characters that we're just going to see and 
probably one-off scenes I could imagine. I, I guess. I, yeah. I, I, I could just see it going horribly wrong. If I, I could if they see it stretch it. Wrong. Yeah. And the one thing that is redeeming quality about Superman versus Batman, obviously as someone who didn't like the movie, the first the Man of Steel, you have uh, no David S. Goyer who wrote Man of Steel, who wrote the stories for the Dark Knight movies. Yeah. Basically, aside from the Dark Knight movies, he's never made anything good. It's true. Yeah. He's produced a bunch of stuff, and they usually get canceled. I the saw use stuff, the internet to yeah. see. Use the power. It's true. <laughs> have the power. But he wrote the screenplay for Man of Steel, which was not good. Oh. General consensus, not good. Two, out of, two three. out of three, I'm sorry. Two out of three yeah. says it's not good. We I, have, for this movie, we have Chris Terrio, who wrote Argo. Which I, I liked Argo. Argo is a great yeah. movie. Yeah. And then you have Ben Affleck, who said he was working with Chris Terrio to okay. tune up the yeah. screenplay. And we all know Ben Affleck is a good writer, because we've seen his movies and that he directed also. He's good I, at it. I know there was definitely a lot of them. Back, where there's some backlash when he was like cast in the role, right? Which is it's like, backlash because we only remember him being shitty in shitty movies. Yeah, Daredevil. Uh, Daredevil <laughs> is one of them. I'm still wearing from Daredevil. But I've seen him be great in yeah. great movies. You know, Good Will Hunting is one of my favorite movies. I just saw Gone Girl like two weeks ago, and he yeah, was amazing. I've in heard that. a lot of good things about that movie. But. He was great. Like, I'm, obviously, you can have a lot of different people play that role, but. I thought he did. Yeah. Just, just just because someone else could have been in that role doesn't right. track from doesn't mean his that acting ability in no, that movie. Not yet. at all. Not at all. He was great. And so, I mean, I don't think he'll be a bad Batman. It's just a matter of the people behind him to help yeah. him. I just I just think be the, better. I just think it. the concept is is like so prone to fuck up that like it's almost not worth like going like I'm so wary. It's <laughs> unbelievable. Right. And but, you, you have all the reason to be. Yeah. You have Man of Steel and Green Lantern. Yeah, I have no pot to... The only pot I don't... Is, okay, so if you dislike Man of Steel, I, uh, fine. But I don't think you can count, like, that Green Lantern as, oh, that has anything to do with the future. Oh, no, no. Now. But I'm saying for the studio and for DC, yeah. uh, it, it looks bad. They're, they're past... Besides Batman... Dark Knight trilogy, which I, I attribute strictly to Christopher Nolan, right? And his course, vision, and as yeah. you should, yeah. because that's it was totally his thing. Yeah. It's not like DC made a good Batman movie. It's like we had a, a director who had a vision for what he wanted to do with it and did a good job. And yes, you know, and you see the results and the popularity that it deserves. But right, and you can see that in evidenced in his other non-Batman films. Yeah. They are all very good. Yeah, but. In DC's non-Batman films, you get Superman Returns, not that great. Man of Steel, not that great. Amazing. Okay. You get Green Lantern, once again, not that great. And then you have these, like, one-off movies that are totally out of left field. Catwoman with Halle Berry. Ugh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Don't even that, speak of it. Yeah. yeah. No one talks about that, because we just all pretend it doesn't exist. Yeah. But it happened. And then you have Jonah Hex. I, I, I kind of like Jonah Hex, to be honest. But if Chris can like Superman, uh, destroys Man everything. Steel. Superman destroys the world. Then I can like Jonah Hex, okay? Superman doesn't right, destroy the but world. Jonah he Hex, saves it. Yeah. But Jonah destroy. Hex is also not a tentpole character. I don't care if they made a Jonah Hex too. You know? No, no, me either. But I, 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 I enjoyed that movie somewhat. Oh, and, and and Constantine, I guess, is another DC. Yeah. Movie that happened in between. I think maybe Batman another begins one. And now. No, there's a TV show. Now. Oh, it's it's a TV. A TV show. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. For the record, Constantine the movie has like my favorite portrayal of the devil ever. Peter Stormare as the devil. He's only he's literally only like in five minutes the, at the very end. Movie, yeah. But he's so awesome. Like he just like kills Gabriel. And then he's just like, okay, I'm gonna take you to hell. And then like, oh, because he sacrificed himself, he can't take him to hell. And he's just like, oh, I'll cure your lung cancer so you don't die. <laughs> and then he's just like, all right. So There's actually a lot of good parts of that movie, but that's like another conversation. Yeah, I've never even seen Constantine. No, so it's, it's, well, it's not. Research. Yeah, it's it's not too bad of a film. Like, there's right. some. I like it. 
I've heard it's all right. You got Shia LaBeouf in it. Yeah, I like him. Yeah, yeah. Shia, Shia LaBeouf. But what Rachel the Weiss. point of that is, <laughs> is you have these all these different non-Batman movies, and they tend to fail in comparison yeah. to Batman. Or just be weird and fringe stuff that, you know... Right, Constantine not, is, and Jonah Hex. It's not comparable examples. to, like, the mainstream heroes. Right, and it's been... It's it's such a weird concept to me that they haven't tried to make Wonder Woman. They haven't tried to make... The Flash. The I mean, Flash. The Flash would be so much fun, especially nowadays you have the technology to make it cool, which right. is evident in the... The whole Quicksilver scene in uh, the most recent X Men well, movie, which was a lot, a lot of fun. Yeah, and Quicksilver in X Men, Quicksilver at the end of Captain America: Winter Soldier. Spoilers. That still that still is confusing to me. Like that they that they can wrangle that. I don't I don't know how they did it, but that's kind of cool. I'm yeah. okay with it. No, no, I'm glad they, I'm glad <laughs> they got it. Like it's just yeah. you know to me like. I have I have like a lot of faith in Marvel Studios because I pretty like they didn't they, in my opinion they haven't made a bad movie a couple of mediocre movies in my opinion right but nothing bad. Iron Man two and three I mean just they're just derivatives of the first Iron Man right, I mean right. I I the first Captain America I didn't really care for the whole ending part but again it's just origin right so it's just which like, is inherently boring yeah no but I mean the the first part I thought was great I to me it should have been a period movie it should have been all World War Two period movie, and they it was like half period movie, half like sci-fi laser gun. Right, show. that's true. They it's didn't complete, really two completely different me. movies in one, in my opinion. That's true, which is totally fair. So, but like it, it wasn't a bad movie. I would not call it a bad movie. There's a lot of great elements in it. There's, I've seen see that that movies. to me is like is exactly what you guys are saying about um, like DC trying to speed up getting, you know, getting everyone together, like, the fact that you could have had a period piece movie, and you could have had, like, afterward, like, him go going into our time movie, but they just kind of stuck it in one movie, is, like, the same idea. It's, like, speeding up to get him to Nick Fury's time. Right, to get him to the more interesting stuff. Yeah. Right. For the most part, Captain America in the 1940s is not that interesting. No, but I'm saying they could have... They could have accomplished those. In 1940, if, when those comic books were written and he was punching Hitler, they yeah. were awesome. He should have punched Hitler in the face in that movie. He should have punched punch Hitler. Hitler in the face in that movie. Did he? Not real Hitler. He had, he, when he was doing the USO tour, oh. he punched Hitler. Uh, oh. No, I mean literally Hitler. punch Hitler in he the face. He should have actually punched Hitler. Oh, it should have been straight up the, okay. corny okay. Americana. Like, okay. <laughs> there should have been Hydra. They can do Hydra, but, but Hydra, like, there were no Nazis in the film. There was only Hydra. Nazis were completely whitewashed out of Captain America, which is, is like a terrible sign for our, our civilization. Because if we can't even... If we, <laughs> if if we, we don't have, have a World War II movie with Nazis in it... Yeah. If, <laughs> if Nazis can't be bad guys because we're afraid of offending the Germans, then that's really bad. Like we've Is that a, the reason why... That, that's the argument I usually hear is like, well, Disney is, you know, distributing the movie across the world. They make a lot of their money I mean, overseas sales. They don't want to offend people. They didn't even name the movie... Captain America when you saw it overseas it was called The First Avenger and then Captain America was the subtitle. Yeah, exactly. Which which makes sense, but I'm saying like, you know, I don't think I don't think the Germans watching the movie are going to be like I I identify with the Nazis, you know? What I don't think so. Like I I think it's I like, hope not. Yeah, I hope I hope not. I I hope they would understand like of course we don't like the Nazis too. Yeah. Like, you know, being German and being Nazi are not synonymous and they right. shouldn't be. Well, that's also a thing where it comes down to the story of Captain America, the, the single movie, and as well as the, the overarching um, you know, plot of the Marvel, Marvel movies, universe, yeah. is that you know, why, why introduce Nazi villains when it's like this other group that we are going to be focusing on in the future? No, Obviously, that, in retrospect, it, it totally worked out. Yeah. No, I'm, no, I'm just, I'm just it's, it, it's more just a personal thing, because like, they could have had Hydra, that's fine. I'm not saying they can't do Hydra. I'm just right. saying Hydra should have been But why, why even waste story time talking about Nazis when... Let's let's just cut to the chase. These aren't the real bad because, guys. Whatever. Because it's like... I don't, that's Captain yeah. America's origin. He punches Nazis. Like, that's you know, true. he's a Nazi... You know, he's from, from the World War II era. It should feel like a World War II movie. And without, a World War II movie without Nazis is like... Not even a World War II movie. Well, it's not a World War II. Well, it's it's a superhero World War II. Yeah. yeah, no, but it's a su he's a superhero <laughs> I know. in World War II. Like, he doesn't, he's not, like, trying to save the world. He's literally trying to win the war. Like, you know, that's his purpose. That's true. 
you know. They also, another difference, uh, it, this is in the second Captain America movie, this isn't a debate, I just like to talk about this. It, you know, he like pulls out his notepad and it's like things that he's supposed to like read or watch. Yeah, yeah. Or, like, recommendations. Recommendations. That people get. That list like changes in every country. Right. Which I think is awesome. Right. That is yeah. definitely funny. Well, and that again, it shows the global mindset of oh, know, yeah. Marvel Studios. Of Marvel I guess Studios. I, I, I put it on Disney because now they have the Can you look up the Chinese name for Guardians of the Galaxy because it's the funniest movie title I've ever heard. No, uh, when I was in Italy, <laughs> I was in Italy when when um, they had it recently been released. I'm trying to remember what they called it. Uh, or maybe, no, maybe oh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I, no, maybe maybe it's not Guardians of the Galaxy. There's another movie. I remember just seeing some really funny translation of like what what the movie title was. I can't remember what it was now. I just yeah, foreign foreign. Names from movies are hilarious. What, what do you see? I'm looking... Yeah, I think Guardians of the Galaxy might have been like straightforward translation, but there was some other movie. <laughs> what? No, it's interplanetary unusual attacking team. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, it's like it's the Chinese name for Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> it's so funny. That's incredible. There's other ones too. Uh, what else? Sam Raimi's Army of Darkness was called Captain Supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they must be so confused when they walk into these films. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just funny to us because, like, we don't. Yeah, like, maybe they, they have way. like double. It's like a double entendre over there. I don't their know. word for supermarket and their word for I, mean, I don't know something else. Like, I know, I, I've I've been told that like, for Chinese characters. And when they're trying to translate foreign things, like, like the actual characters don't make any sense in terms of like describing what it is, but they try to phonetically match the sounds. So they'll just pick two characters that, when you say that together, sort of sounds like the English equivalent or whatever the foreign language equivalent. Oh, really? Yeah. So like Canada is like Janada or something like that. Like those characters mean nothing in terms of like describing what Canada is, but but they but it sounds like Canada. And they're just trying to match the sound of the word, which is unlike, that's not how Chinese works, to my knowledge. Right, that's interesting. Totally irrelevant. Yeah. No, but I always find it weird that in every language, we have, there's a different word for like each country. Yeah. Uh, we should definitely have like final thoughts. All right. I don't know. The DC movies, which was the point of this conversation. Yeah, but totally you know, ta from. tangents is, is like the nature <laughs> of the exactly, show. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. That's the whole point, is to go on tangents. Which one are you most excited for? Of this, give me the list. Of the, the list. list. I got, it, I got it right here. I want to. I need to look at the list again. Take it. Okay. Take it with you. Most excited for it. Can we also do most apprehensive for it? That's fine. Uh, do one and the other. Do both. Well, both I. Both, both, both. Well, see, I just like the Flash, and I think that I think now that like, there's a great potential to make a good Flash movie. So I'd say I'm probably most excited for the Flash, just as a concept. Um, I'm really scared for. I'd say Batman Superman. <laughs> Sounds like a terrible idea. Terrible, terrible <laughs> idea. But, uh, Chris? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm most excited for Batman and Superman because I think that movie's going to be good and for everybody that is like, oh my god, this, this whole thing with DC is a terrible idea, I think it's gonna shut them up. No, I could, I could um, totally be wrong. I'm just, you know, I have, I have no historic reason. And I'm most apprehensive for... Uh, I'm probably Suicide Squad because that's like another like squad movie that's coming out like really close to right after Dawn of Justice and I think it's probably like I know the Suicide Squad isn't galactic or anything like that but I think they're just trying to do it because Guardians of the Galaxy yeah, is Yeah, that's what I was just thinking, yeah. Just like another like a group solo movie. And I think that's I think that's like really really directly affected Mar by Marvel and I don't like that. Right, Dan. Dan, I'm looking forward to Shazam because they've been talking about that movie for the longest time. Ooh, and rumors say that The Rock is playing Black the Adam. The Rock is playing Black oh, Adam. That's not a rumor. Not a rumor. That is confirmed. That's confirmed. Yeah, Rock and that, Black Adam. That is good. What, what, what about it being them changing his name to Shazam? Which is I'm over it. Yeah. It's it been happens. like this for a few years. 
everyone who doesn't know the character calls him Shazam anyway, because that's been the title of the comic book since the 70s. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. I just, uh, to me, it's weird. It is kind of weird. That is weird. I was, can't uh, say his own name, otherwise he'll turn back into a little boy. Right. For the record, I was, uh, I, uh, was at a superhero party a couple of years ago, and I was Shazam, or Captain Marvel, whatever you want to call him. And there was just like a lot of people there that I guess weren't as nerdy as I am, and they were all like, "Oh, the Flash," because <laughs> I had like yeah, the lightning because I had yeah. a lightning bolt, and I was like, no, "No, no," and like I had like different things to make the me cape, the not, yeah, I had the not cape. mask. Yeah, well, see, that's, that's the whole thing. It's like <coughs> superhero like comic books are not more popular. If anything, they're less popular. They're significantly less popular yeah, than, and, and, than but, movies but or movies, TV shows. Yeah, like superheroes as like a movie or TV characters are popular, but not comic book superheroes are not popular. Right. So that that is proof that like you know, if it's not in a movie, then they're not gonna. Right, then it's like, oh, yeah. where is this guy? Which is kind of like infringing on my galactic repertoire because people don't know what the fuck any of the galactic heroes are. Now they have some sense, I guess. With Guardians of the Galaxy. Well, even that, it was a great starter. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I was I know, very happy with it. Yeah. Just have only seen, you know, the Avengers movies or superhero movies in general. They it's a great intro. They yeah. really, really like the movie because it isn't. I mean, it is a little bit daunting at first, all these alien names and things. But the more you get into the movie, the the more you'll understand everything. I just want to know. But everything. anyway, say what you oh, know. the one I'm most yeah. you know apprehensive about it. it's got to be Justice League just because bringing all those characters together making them work with each other it's very difficult yeah and the they, Justice League is like completely different than like most things because it's like really established characters right and yeah you know bringing all the actors together might be difficult and I guess even to extend that I'm even more apprehensive about Justice League 2 because they haven't even seen if the first Justice League. Yeah, they've is already good. they've already confirmed it because like, oh well, the Avengers already has two and three on the way, so we already have to plan for. Yeah, it. but the I mean, Avengers is also the third highest grossing movie ever. Yeah, but um, that, I know you, you see, like every, they don't have they don't have the the statistics behind. No, it. No, that's what I'm saying. You just you just see copycat, copycat, <coughs> copycat of everything that Marvel's done. It's like like you said, Suicide Squad, Guardians of the Galaxy rip off. You got. You know, Justice League already got to have two Justice Leagues to rip off the Avengers and their success. You know, it's just like they, you know, they're just following in the exact footsteps and trying to catch yeah. them. The sweet irony about all of that is that Justice League was first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the Avengers copied them. Yeah. The, you know, that is very true. So, on that historical note, I guess. We'll, I think that's a good place we'll, to end. We'll end. It.